Hey there, fabulous ladies. Welcome to Bring Back Your Pink, where we celebrate the fabulousness of midlife and beyond. I am Jen V, your host, your biggest fangirl and impact-driven entrepreneur living my biggest and boldest life, so you can too. Get ready to leave behind societal expectations and embrace a life filled with laughter, joy, and endless possibilities. So stand tall, turn up the volume, and let's dive into the world of living life in full color. Together, we'll rediscover the power of being unapologetically ourselves, and we will release our inner vibrancy, and together, we will bring back our pink. Let's make every moment count, girls. Hello, lovelies. Welcome to 2024. I can't believe it's 2024. Um, Can you? Uh, But I thought I'd just do a little episode reflecting on the roller coaster that was 2023 for me anyway um for me it's been you know a, a continuing year of rediscovery a year where I truly found my pink again and you know walked in my vibrancy uh and what a journey it's been uh so I thought I'd just chat about you know the highs the lows and everything in between of my 2023 it's really good to do this reflection time because, you know, so often we just like we're always running, we're constantly moving, and it's nice to stop and think about how far we've come. So I'm going to kick off with a story that I guess set the tone for the year in in, in some ways. Uh, we went to Hawaii in February and, you know, in the past I would be the one hiding down the back. So we were actually sitting up the front. And unfortunately, with pink hair, I can't necessarily hide. So the beautiful Polynesian dancers that were up there had to find a partner. And yeah, the bright-haired pink beacon that I was got invited up. Now, in the past, I would have said, no way, Jose. There is no way I am getting up there on that stage. However, my initial thought was, no, 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 no. And then I went, no, remember, remember, this is the year you're setting yourself the challenges. You are doing the thing. You are living your life. So I ended up dancing on a stage in Hawaii in front of a crowd of 500 people. And what's more, I got happy to to video it for posterity. Now, keep in mind, I am no dancer. But there I was, heart pounding, feet extremely awkwardly trying to find some rhythm. But It was so much more than just dancing. It was about facing fears head on, about embracing those moments that scare you yet thrill you. You know, it was a true lesson in stepping out of my comfort zone and just living in the moment, flaws and all. And later on, I had a number of women came up to me later and went, you were rocking up there. I go, oh my gosh, I was so mortified, but I did it. I did it. 23 wasn't just about these bold physical, you know, putting myself out there adventures though. You know, it was a year where I allowed myself to be emotionally vulnerable and to share that with others. For the first time, I shared my personal story with an audience. Opening up, you know, about my struggles and my victories felt like bearing my soul, but it was way more empowering than I ever imagined. Um, I learned how sharing our vulnerabilities can profoundly impact others. And it turned out that my journey resonated with so many women, inspiring them to embrace their own paths. And again, another challenge for me, getting up on a stage and sharing this story. You know, for the first time, I wasn't up there worrying about what people were thinking about me. Am I too fat to be on the stage? You know, is this dress okay? I was just up there sharing my story and hoping to help others. Then connection. I've made so many amazing connections this year. Um, This is the year I started the Instagram feed, Bring Back Your Pink, you know, dedicated to women wanting to rediscover their vibrancy, you know, their pink. It's become something that I'm so passionate about. And, you know, I feel like it's a little community, you know, where I share and support and celebrate others' unique journeys. And, you know, those that follow me know I am always happy for people to slide into my DMs and have a chat. I love it. Each post is a reminder that we're not alone. And the icing on the cake is I've actually got to meet some of these amazing women in real life. You know, we have shared stories, we have laughed, and it has been a blast. Now, 
let's go to my birthday this year. For many years, I avoided celebrating. Um, I was actually not really all that happy with the five in front of my age, to be honest. But this year, I was turning 55. And I decided to actually, you know what, these things are cele- are worth celebrating. You know, they really are. So I decided to do something I hadn't done in a long while. I threw myself a bit of a birthday dinner. I've always shied away from being in this limelight, but this year I decided to embrace it. it. And then after the dinner, we went into a fabulous staycation with my hubby and a few close friends. And, you know, celebrating like this made me realize how important it is to honor our journeys, our growth and our lives. And just as an aside, turning 55, 55 is the age that my darling dad got sick and he passed at 57. So for me now, actually embracing that and realizing, you know, that we need to live each day as if if it's our last, it's just so important to me to do that. And I'm so glad that I was able to drop my insecurities and actually do that. And now this brings me to here, to the podcast, something I would never, ever have imagined doing a year ago. Never. Uh, Starting this podcast was like venturing totally into uncharted territories, you know, I I never thought this would be me. The launch party was amazing. Uh, I had so much fun and the ladies and the friends and, uh, you know, my everybody that came, you know, all came to celebrate the beginning of this new adventure. And I'm so thrilled that I have it. I'm so thrilled that you're listening to it. It's so exciting for me to be able to interview amazing women and share stuff that may make your life better. And the party was a night filled with laughter, excitement, champagne, cocktails, and so much hope for what the podcast could become. Yeah, but the real highlight of 2023, these incredible women that I've met along the way, you know, each one of them has brought something so special to the table, their stories, their wisdom, their spirit. I've been so honored to have their voices and insights as part of this journey. They've shown me the beauty of diversity and the strength that comes from sharing our experiences. Oh my gosh, I'm actually getting goosebumps right now talking about this. You know, there were challenges. Of course, there's challenges. Uh, 2023 had its fair share of ups and downs. There were a lot of moments of doubts, moments where I questioned what I was doing, you know, moments where I was scared and I wanted to hide. But each challenge was like a stepping stone, a learning experience that made me stronger and more resilient. It taught me the value of persistence and the importance of staying true to yourself. Looking back, 2023 really feels like it was the year I stepped into who I was meant to be, the beginning of something, you know, vibrant and colourful. And of course, you know, the last few years have taught me this crucial lesson. You're never too old and it's never, ever too late to embrace life in all its colourful glory. It's a reminder to us to live boldly, love deeply and laugh heartily. So as we head into 2024, I'm totally going to carry this spirits forward and I would love for you to do too. Let's make a promise to ourselves that we are going to live fearlessly. We're going to chase our dreams and we are going to make the most of every single moment. I want to thank each and every one of you who's been a part of my journey this year. You know, your support, your stories, your energy has made this past year just so unforgettable for me. So here's your fabulous beginning of 2024. Let's stay vibrantly pink and make 2024 a year to remember. Cheers to living life in full colour. Hey, ladies, I created this podcast because I know we need more of it to help us bring back our pink and live our best lives. But guess what? We can't do this alone. So if you loved this episode, let's spread the world. Share it on your socials, send it to a friend, and don't forget to write us a review. By doing this, you become part of the movement to bring back your pink and inspire others to do the same. I'm incredibly grateful to have you in my world as we live life in full color and become our authentic selves. Together, we're unstoppable. Let's keep rocking and bringing back the pink.